Carol again. I, um, everyone will think actually that my name is Carol again, won't they? <laughs> so, I was watching this video the other day and I was really inspired by what this lady did. And I can't remember off the top of my head who it was. Uh, but if I find the link again, when I have a look through my history, I'll add the link to the description box down below. Um, but she decorated some letters. So, the last part, the last part of the decoration for my new crafting HQ, um, I've gathered together a selection of letters, and this is going to sit above my window. So, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to paint this first, and I've got some unbleached titanium uh, Liquitex Basics, okay, and it's a, an acrylic, and I'm just using one of my cheap hobby craft brushes. And I'm just going to coat the top bit with this paint. Now, it might need two layers, depending on what colour you use, because I didn't want the brown showing through. So I'm putting on a fairly nice, thick layer. And then I'm only doing the top surface. Okay, So I'm only doing this top bit in this colour. So it doesn't matter if I go over the edge, you know, down the sides. Okay, now this brush actually leaves brush strokes on it. Not that it matters so much, because where it's going you won't see it, but I'll try and get them all in the, in the same direction. Oh, missed a bit there. Just do that and that bit there. Okay. The sides, so all of these edges here, I'm going to paint in green. Same on this side here. I'm not touching the back. The back I'm, I'm leaving alone. The green paint that I'm going to add to the sides is actually this tin of uh, sage green chalk paint that I've got. And I've got this from Little Aldi. Aldi. They were selling them off. So I bought some of those. Now this I've got to be a little bit more careful with because I don't want it going over to the front side. So I'm going to take a little bit more care with how I paint this. And then once I've done this, I can then decide if my letter needs a second coat of colours to just get rid of the brown. Make sure that it's not showing through. So I'm going to go off and go and paint this. And uh, I'll be back shortly with the next step. Next thing I'm going to do is to add my paper napkin. I've chosen this one. Um, with it bit having more of a white background, it means it's going to blend in a little bit more. So I'm just going to separate the layers. And just one quarter of this napkin is going to cover me fine. Come on, come to mummy. There we go. Now I'm using my um, Liquitex Acrylic Medium Matte Gel. But you can use whatever glue you so wish. And I'm only going to put it up to as far as, you know, the napkin goes. So it's about here.
and then line my napkin up. Okay, and then I'm just going to rip this edge across the top a bit so that it blends more and hasn't got just a straight line. Okay, and because this is wet, I should be able to just very carefully tear the napkin away. And I can paint some gel over the top to just help to protect it. For the last part, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some modelling paste to this pot. And then I'm going to add, I've got quite a few letters to do, so I want to make sure that I've got enough in there. And then I'm going to add some chalk paint to it as well. And if it looks a little bit too light, I've got some dark green acrylic paint. see how this looks once I mix it all together okay I might just add just a slight drop of this darker green It's not massively darker, but every little helps. And then I'm using my favourite Tim Holtz stencil. I'm going to apply some of this only down the left hand side. Okay, just adds that little bit of prettiness. And I'm going to go off now and go and do that to all my letters. Hopefully I'll do a better job on the next lot of letters. Anyway, we'll see how it turns out. Okay, needless to say. <laughs> not very good with modeling paste it didn't turn out either quite as dark as I wanted it to so I'm just using my old olive stamping up pad and I'm replacing the stencil over the top and just adding some of the ink in some of the spots and it's given it an almost velvet like look that might not pick up on camera, but 
it kind of looks a bit velvety. So I'm going to carry on doing all my letters and um, yeah, we'll see what happens. One last job to do and then they are all done. And I'm just inking up around the edges of all the letters, but um, it's chewing up my sponge. So this one will be thrown away afterwards because the edges are quite rough. And then all the letters are then done. And you know they're not they're not brilliant they're not perfect but a blind man on a galloping horse would be glad to see him so there we go so let's see if you can work out what the word is that I'm spelling so we've got an eye and we've got another eye we've got an S Got an E, got a P, got a P Bob, got an N, and I've got an R. So just for fun, if you can work out what the word is, then put it in the comments down below. And as I say, next time you see these, they'll be up on my wall when I give my room tour. Thanks ever so much for watching. I hope it's inspired you maybe a little bit. Um, or giving you something fun to watch at least and I'll see you all again in another video really soon bye for now bye